Good evening, I'm Greg Parker. Gay rights supporters and the National Association of Social Workers are joining forces in an attempt to stop the Senate from putting a gay marriage ban in the Indiana Constitution. The Senate will vote on the amendment, and opponents of the proposal say there is a good chance of it passing in the Senate, but not in the House. High unemployment rates in Elkhart are still of concern, but RV plants in Elkhart have been adding jobs and recalling laid off workers over the last several months. Business is slowly picking up on shipments of televisions, and the wholesale shipments of RVs in December 2009 went up 150 percent compared to December 2008. Officials say it is not a sign of complete turnaround. Local officials prepare to kick off census 2010, and they're also looking for recruits to assist. Corey Newland reports. The latest Census Bureau is ready to take off and the local bureau is holding tests to find temporary employees to help with the count. Recruiting assistant Joan Mayfield runs the testing at City Hall, one of four locations. The county is broken up in all these little tracks and they need people to apply from each one of those tracks. The bureau is looking for rural and urban dwellers as well as students to apply and take the 28 question test. A lot of people have come in that have worked former census years and they've really enjoyed the work. This is a way for the little person across the whole United States to pick up some extra work. Most of the recruits will be selected in late March and will receive a paid training shortly after. I'm Corey Newland, WTIU News. A practice test and more information on how to participate is available online at 2010censusjobs.gov. Governor Mitch Daniels will make the final call to close the Seymour post of the Indiana State Police in and around Jackson County. Jackson County Sheriff Mark Larman says dispatchers and additional workers are going to be out of a job due to the closing. Daniels claims the closure will not cause anyone to lose their job at the post. Summer vacation may be extended by a few weeks if a bill approved by a Senate committee becomes law. If passed, the Family Values proposal acts to ban school from starting until after Labor Day. The bill allows for extended family vacation. Various businesses such as boat rental companies and theme parks are also backing the bill. Now taking a look at your weather forecast, for tonight mostly cloudy skies, lows around 13. Tomorrow mostly cloudy, highs around 24 degrees. Tomorrow night mostly clear with uh, lows around 12 and moving into your five day forecast. On Sunday mostly sunny skies, highs in the upper 20s, lows around 16. Monday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of snow, highs in the mid-30s, lows in the lower 20s. On Tuesday, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of snow, highs in the lower 30s, lows in the lower 20s. For WTIU News, I'm Greg Parker.